today we are trying makeup. One, two, three, four. Spending 70 hours just to be in Monterey with you. Three hours in and we're talking about our futures like we have a clue. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome, welcome. My name is Ray and if you don't know who I am, that's okay because you can find out more about me here on all social media platforms. My skin type is oily, sensitive, dehydrated, and reactive. Hamish is a well-known K-beauty brand and I've definitely reviewed a bunch of their products on this channel before, but I've mainly reviewed their skincare products. And last time in a somewhat parodic video, I tried Korean lip products for the very first time. And a lot of you seem to have enjoyed watching that type of content, watching me ruin K-beauty for everyone. <laughs> so I thought, why not bring back lipstick prints? I mean, lipstick rookie. Y yeah, we can't risk being sued by CJ e &M. They're way too big. We're not doing that. No, put, put it back on the screen. Lipstick rookie, like cross off prints and put lipstick rookie, okay? Yeah, cause that's the, yeah, okay. <laughs> As some of you may know, if not all of you, I am not very knowledgeable about makeup. Skincare is really my bread and butter. But since my channel is really about normalizing skincare for men, I thought, why not give makeup a try too? Again, keyword is try, okay? I am trying these products today. I am in no way trying to make a tutorial video because God knows if I ever make a makeup tutorial video, it's equivalent to setting the world on fire. You guys would not want a tutorial from me. That's bad, just thinking about it, that's really bad. Hamish recently launched a BB cream series with a wider range of shades and tones. Da -da 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 -da, right here. I think those are the proper terms for this, right? Shades and tones. I think Hamish is headed in the right direction for a K-beauty brand that is trying to break into the global market. This is definitely better than say five years ago when all K-beauty really had to offer their customers were white, white, and white BB creams. A few things to note about these BB creams specifically, and I guess it also applies to pretty much all of Korea's BB creams because they pretty much do the same thing. They do have a light sun protection with an SPF of 30 and PA++, two pluses only, keep that in mind. They are in no means a method of replacing your sunscreen. Never apply makeup without first applying sunscreen. 절대, 절대, 절대. 진짜로, even I know this. 제발요. Okay, today I am going to give these BB creams a try. I've already tested the shades on my skin to see which ones match my natural skin color. And it seems like the nude and the light nude are best for me. Their medium and light medium shades have a warmer tone to them so they do make my skin appear a little bit more yellow and orange and i actually did not know this but my skin actually has a cooler tone to it i've always thought that my skin tone has a warmer tone or like an olive tone i want to say but apparently according to these bb creams when i apply them i look like a different person when i have warmer tones on so good to know this video is made possible by style koreans ambassador program season two guys season two Style Koreans Ambassador Program is where we get to try new and popular K-beauty products and share our thoughts with you. Okay, with that being said, Urikaja. Hi, okay, so we're gonna do this setup for the makeup portion of this video. Before we get started, always sanitize your hands before applying any kind of makeup. Usually when I do skincare, I'm in the bathroom so I can always wash my hands. I'm actually really nervous. So before using this BB cream, um, I already applied a light skincare in the morning. For the toner, I use Hamish's All Clean Low pH Toner. And for moisturizer, I use a very light moisturizer that won't pill, or at least I don't think it would pill. And that's the Centellian 24 Plus Medeca Relief Cream. For sunscreen, I use Mari and May's Sika Soothing Sun Cream because I feel like that one is the thinnest and lightest formula of a sunscreen I have, and I definitely want to try the BB cream with 
sunscreen on so I know how well it would work with skincare products. So one of the selling points for Hamish's BB cream is that it contains Moringa ceramide and ceramide of course is great for strengthening and fortifying your skin barrier. BB creams are essentially like the tinted moisturizers that we have here in the States. For this video I'm actually going to use two shades. One is the nude shade and one is the light nude. I'm going to apply the light nude on this side of my face and then the nude on this side of my face so we can have a comparison because I feel like when I tried it on my wrist I noticed a large difference between the two so I want to make sure that I can try both of them in the same video. Problem is I don't have brushes, I don't have sponges, I don't have any makeup tools and one of my friends uh, who actually does makeup she said that I don't need any of like the fancy tools and stuff to really apply makeup. You can just use your fingers and so I'm gonna do that okay? Okay I have like Paper towels and tissues ready. You can't see it on the camera, but this is what it looks like. Mix this up. Whoa, that is very, very not my shade. Also, I mean, like the great thing about BB creams is that it's supposed to cover the redness because I, I turn red easily. Like my skin is super sensitive and reactive. So just a light touch on my skin would turn red. So this is supposed to help with that and hopefully it will. It's supposed to help cover dark circles as well. I haven't been able to sleep. The nose I feel like is the hardest part because when I was in Korea in 2013, that was when BB creams and CC creams actually were being made popular by K-drama actors like Kim Soo Hyun. Um, I think he was the face of I think Tony Moly or something and I saw him everywhere. Everywhere that sells BB creams and CC creams. I saw his face everywhere. Oh wow, it's actually not bad. Hold on, let me just do my forehead as well. Whoa, the redness is gone. See, this is why I think makeup is magic sometimes. I see people do makeup, Sean Hyung um, do makeup, and I'm just like, wow, it's a complete transformation. Do I put it on my eyelids too? Is it safe? I don't know if it's safe to put on my eyelids, okay? You guys let me know. Wow, okay, coverage is pretty cool, like pretty nice. Oh, I didn't apply on my chin, oops. And I realized I still have more on my hand. I don't know why I didn't apply it. Oh, okay, you know what? I was watching Sean Hyung's videos and he was doing like dots and I didn't do the dots. I just did the whole smudge thing. Okay, I'm gonna do it with the nude color later. So far, it looks pretty natural on my skin at least, in my opinion, on the viewfinder right now. I am actually very impressed because it feels like skincare. It feels like it's just clinging onto my skin. But anyway, so when I was in Korea in 20. 13 we went to like this factory i think it's a manufacturer or something i forgot which brand it was i think it was tony moly if not it was like innisfree or something and they were just launching cc creams and they were you know trying to get tourists to to try it and like talk about it when they bring it back to bring it back home or whatever and my mom got me cc cream i think it is innisfree the the person who was talking about cc cream at the tour she made it seem so easy especially like when she was demonstrating the nose area it looks so easy on her flawless on her and when I tried the CC cream at home, I look like a clown because I don't know, maybe it's because I didn't know how to use it and maybe back then the formula wasn't as good as the formulas we have today. I just remember being scarred for life because I was like, oh my gosh, we spent money on the CC cream and like it doesn't even work or like I don't know how to use it. And I ended up not using it and then it just expired and we had to throw it away. So that's kind of like my experience with CC creams and BB creams in the past. And that kind of like made me not want to try it ever again because I just had a really bad experience with it. Wow, wow, this looks like I have like some filter on right now. That is, oh, whoa. Oh, and I did do my brows today for this video because I feel like um, if I don't do my brows, if I don't like fill in my brows, it's gonna look even weirder when I do this. So I'm gonna try to cover up my dark circles a little bit more. I guess in a way BB creams are like concealers, right? They could be. Okay, so light nude is on. There's no creasing. And I think it's really because um, skincare. Skincare is important. If you have a really good foundation of skincare before you apply any kind of like makeup, you have really good results. This is so cool. Yeah, maybe it's just technology has become better and now like it's just easier to 
to find products that really work for you. And I just used like a light pump, right? You guys saw. I used just one pump, I think. Yeah, it was only one pump. And I'm able to cover my entire face. The best part about this is that it looks very natural. It doesn't look like, you know, Hollywood celebrities when you get a close-up of them and you see their powder and their makeup all caked up and stuff. The nose actually looks pretty smooth because I have like a lot of pores and blackheads on my nose. So a lot of times, when I do any like powder. In the past, my friend who used to be like a makeup artist or trying to become a makeup artist, she used my face as like um, a canvas. And I just remember looking speckly when it comes to like this area. And so I've always been very like self-conscious about it. I am shocked. Okay, let's move on to the nude color, which would be on this side of my face. In person, I might look hideous and really scary and, and ghastly. Under the ring light and like in front of this viewfinder, this looks pretty natural. Like it looks very smooth and, and everything. So I'm, I'm shocked that I did that. Okay. All right, next is the nude color. So if I'm doing my left side, I have to put the product on my right hand because I'm using this finger to blend it out. This is the color nude. Okay, I'm gonna do the dotting method that Sean Hyung does, okay? Because he's professional, I'm not. I don't know why I'm doing increments of five. I just feel safer when I use the number five. Okay, it just looks like I have some kind of uh, skin condition right now. I blend it in. I see him use like this padding technique, but he uses like a sponge. I don't have a sponge, but I'm gonna do whatever I can, all right? Turn myself into K-pop idol. Turn myself into a drama actor. I feel like this shade might be closer to my natural skin color. I feel like this is definitely lighter, but I don't know. Is that too much? Am I going to go blind if this gets in my eye? One way to find out. Ah. Honestly, I don't think you're supposed to apply this on your eyelids. But then like, how can you achieve that natural looking finish? See now, the left side of my face is more textured because I have these, uh, they're not milia bumps, but they're some kind of bumps on my, on the corner of my eyes. I think it's because my bang falls onto this area all the time. And then I have like hair serums and essences. And then that breaks me out sometimes. The nose is the hardest part because you want to make sure that it, it appears natural but you don't want to apply too much right off the bat because you're just going to clog the pores, the blackheads, the pores. I don't really know what those are called anymore. You want to press down is what Sean Hyung said. I'm just going to take his lead because he knows what he's doing. I always forget my chin. My chin and what's this part called? I don't, I don't know. Also, I made sure to shave my little whiskers today because I wanted to have a smoother finish. Now you guys getting all close up to my hairline, my receding hairline. Um, what do I do with this nose bridge area? Oh, you know what? I take that back. I don't think the nude color is actually my color because I feel like it, it looks really pasty. Like you see this? It looks really pasty. The nude color has a warmer undertone. I think light nude is definitely closer to my color now that I see the results of the nude. Ooh, I like how this BB cream sits on the nose. Cause like for oily skin like me, it's really hard for anything to stay on my skin because the oil just breaks down the product, even with like skincare sometimes. For this to sit so naturally on my skin, especially around the nose and the, like this area, pretty impressive. Great job, Hamish. The texture, the feel, the weight of this all feels very nice. If there are any beauty products or makeup stuff you want me to try out next, let me know. Because we tried lip products last time and now today we're trying BB creams. What else can we try next? Okay, here's the final finish and the final look. I let it set for like about five minutes now. And so far it is holding up pretty well. I looked in the mirror like in person and definitely I can tell my skin appears like brighter and whiter and it's kind of like pastier too. I don't know. I feel like it's okay in like studio lighting, but natural lighting, I look a little bit weird, but it's not like, oh, it's weird that he's wearing makeup. It's weird that his makeup is so obvious and it's because I am doing a poor job at it. So back to the technical portion of this kind of um, experiment. Formula of this BB cream is a little bit oily and it makes sense because that's how it latches onto your skin. So it does feel a little bit greasy when you apply it, but once it dries down, like after five minutes, it's like a semi-matte finish. It gives you like this natural shine to it. It's not greasy. It's not even dewy. It's like very natural and it evens out like the pores. 
again it removes all your redness if you have like a lot paler skin and ultimately i think between these two light nude and nude i think light nude looks better on me in studio but the nude looks better naturally like without the studio lighting so let me turn off the light actually so this is with studio lighting this is how the shade looks without Sing okay. What do you think? Another question I feel like I have a lot when it comes to makeup and BB creams and foundations or whatever you call it is whether or not it would transfer onto other surfaces because I can be wearing a white shirt, remove the shirt, and I'll have like the makeup or whatever dragged onto the white shirt. Especially nowadays when we are still wearing masks outdoors, at least I am, I want to know if it's going to transfer onto other cloths, other fabric. So I have a tissue right here. I'm going to try to Transfer it. So far, okay. A little bit transferred over, but it's because I'm pressing it and it's not like I'm dragging it. And a little bit, you can see over here a little bit. Unless you're like dragging it. Let me just try dragging it, okay. Yeah, once you drag it, everything comes off. Or not everything, you still need a cleanser, but it does come off. Yep, came right off. Let's try it with the face mask. This is the white side. Oh no, it's kind of blue on camera, but it's the white inner side. Ooh, a lot came off, okay. A lot of it came off. And I guess like there are beauty products that are like um, setting sprays or whatever that's supposed to lock in your foundation, your BB creams or whatever. This wouldn't be like a huge issue, I would say. Um, then again, I don't have setting spray, so I can't tell. But if you don't have setting spray and you tend to use this without any other products to like lock in your face, uh, this definitely transfers a lot. Here's a close up. You will never see me this close up ever again. Mm. Okay, so that concludes this portion of the video. We are gonna go back to the main portion of this video. Back we go. Woody Kata! All right, it has been a full day of letting the BB cream sit on my face. And I would say, like, it's a great BB cream that gives you full coverage for a very small amount of product. I'm just not sure what the demographic is for this set of products. I feel like people who are in like the entertainment industry would really benefit from this because it does give you like that natural looking skin. But I still feel like it's really obvious that you're wearing BB cream or foundation or coverage. Maybe just because like the, the coloring, the tone just doesn't match like my skin tone. I don't really know if that's mainly the case that I'm trying to make here. I just feel like it's not exactly like your daily BB cream. And I think it's also because I'm a person who doesn't use makeup every day. I've never used BB cream up until this point, or at least on my own. Even though it is very easy to use, very easy to apply, and it does give me like that natural finish. On camera, it looks really good. In studio lighting, like this morning, it looks really good. But I would say like when I walk outside and I catch the sunlight, you can still notice the difference and I think had I blended it better and even more even I feel like I can probably make it seem more skin-like at this stage of my skill level I would say like someone like me probably won't benefit from this right off the bat I feel like there's a huge learning curve with this BB cream for beginners but I feel like if you are someone like I don't know Sean Hyung <laughs> I feel like it's, it's such a walk in the park of a product that's just like my final thought on on this Hamish BB cream so back to the studio well that is all for this video I think I still have a lot to learn when it comes to makeup I'm just not very good at it no, no kidding is he serious? I've been watching a lot of makeup tutorial videos for men, specifically from Sean Hyung. 저는 Sean Hyung에게 makeup을 배우고 있어요. Let me know what you think. I humbly accept all forms of constructive feedback on makeup.
<laughs> I'll leave all the product links in the down bar below for you guys to check out in case you're interested. Product links are affiliated and will help this channel keep going. Thank you South Korean for sending me these products to try and review. 감사합니다. Please help this channel grow by subscribing and sharing this video with your friends so you guys can all laugh at how terrible I am with makeup. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, be safe, stay hydrated, and most importantly, what is it? Be gentle with yourself. 안녕. Come back for more Tuesday. Yo. So we packed up the Subaru I-5 North. Now you're screeching on the pavement, but I'm not sure if this is such a good idea in